Okay, welcome back to Game Devs Play Games. Welcome back, guys. We were about to read the Necronomicon last oh, time. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> All right, let's see what happens. I'm, I hope that was a good cliffhanger for everyone. I'm a little apprehensive here. Let, <laughs> let's see what happens. After a quick inspection, I ripped some pages from the unholy book. Oh. Tome page of water drain. Does this just produce it tome gen pages? Oh, I bet you there's a cost. My God. I bet you anything. Oh, that's... Oh, geez. Did yeah. I just lose all my sanity for doing that? You did. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I'm going to eat meat? some cooked animal meat, and then I'm going to try that shit again. Okay, so it's always minus 35. Wait, okay, so minus 35, but I just... I just used it again. Did it give me another page? I don't think so. I think it could be random. Yeah. Oh, what? Oh, what? Man. Oh my God! I'm taking it. I'm. I'm. Wait. I can't even take them all. Well, well, yeah, I can't. You I can, can take them all, and then you I can, can dismount oh, off the yeah. donkey, and then I've got all those slots. Nice. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna. You go can ahead. even use them too. I'm even actually, if you're overburdened. I am gonna use the tome page of water drain here because there's water that's gonna be following me. So I'm gonna go ahead and just use the tome page of water drain. Do you think that'll be useful while it's generating water? Yep. Watch. Oh, okay. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then I'm going to walk away. See, when you initiate magical effects, either from looting a temple or from using a tome page, mm -hmm. they don't advance until you move. The day doesn't move oh, until you do. Okay, so I can so that sit makes here, perfect sense. Yeah, I can sit here with that spring bubbling to my left for as long as I wanted to. When I first started playing the game, as soon as the volcano started to erupt, I panicked and just ran. I just ran. <laughs> there are volcanoes. Uh, but you don't have to do that. So I'm going to go like this. I'm going to go like that. And if you look... The two conflicting magical effects are, are, it was enough to slow it down, basically. So I'm going to eat a little more meat. Um, that's the end right there. Uh, the Golden Pyramid, when it's in the grasslands, is always surrounded by forest. Mm. So if you see a thing in the middle of the forest, I don't know if that's like a design flaw or if that's intentional, but it's a little Indiana Jonesy. Yeah, um, I feel like that's got to be an intentional thing, especially since it, it, we're basically to, going to always encounter yes. um, it in the game. It makes sense to keep it consistent for sake of, uh, yeah. like... I don't know, gameplay challenge when it's, uh, flow. Yeah, when it's in the prehistoric lands and when it's in the dry lands and when it's in the desert, uh, it's not always surrounded by forest, mm -hmm. but when it's in the grasslands, you can always count on it. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to leave the level here. Uh, there was the Golden Pyramid enthroned above the landscape, overcoming all obstacles. We had yet survived. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and enter the pyramid. Uh, yeah. After weeks of traveling, euphoria overcame me. I knew my name would be forever remembered. Let's finish that expedition. All right, so success. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just and just we we made this seem very easy, um, yeah. but that's because mission. we both played it. Yeah, but I think um, I mean pretty much I, I, I'd say fifty fifty shot for players playing it for the first time. You're probably gonna die the first time. Oh yeah, just because you don't know how anything works. Horribly, I, I horribly. went incredibly insane. I got consumed by a volcano my first time. <laughs> uh, a trackless void the second time. I got. Uh, eaten by hyenas more times than I can count. Um, but then I started learning how to win, and it became really fun. And even when I was dying to that volcano, I was having a lot of fun running and screaming through a jungle that was on fire. Mm -hmm. It was great. So we got a success. Here we go. So our current fame was 10. I don't know what that comes from. Uh, Golden Pyramid, great, 100. Uh, if you have to use the hot air balloon, you don't get that bonus, which kind of sucks. Mm -hmm. um, three butterflies at uh, fives, uh, five fame each. Which butterflies are totally random, right? Yes, uh, although with the butterfly you generate more of them and Charles Darwin has the butterfly enthusiast trait so he generates sanity when you pick up a butterfly so like on top of the fame there's also the sanity angle it's like it's one method of generation that you can do I don't think it's a very efficient one no I, I tend to no. err on the same side uh, it did only cost me 40 days which is kind of nice I wasn't out there very long and uh, our new fame is 85 so let's go ahead and finish the expedition and that's only the beginning of it indeed it is uh, triumph that's a cute donkey which one, guys? Ms. Sansom or Ms. Harlow? Oh, Ms. Sansom. Uh, oh, here we go. All right, so we've got two choices here. Strong mind, increased maximum sanity. Tends to be okay. It's, it's only 10. It's, it's pretty... Oh, it's... It's a little tame. Uh, navigator. Increases the gained compass accuracy when uncovering fields. If you'll notice, I never used my compass. I'll tell you why in the next one. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll save it for the next yeah. expedi expedition. Uh, but then finally, we've got Polyglot. This one right here is so crucial. Cannot stress mm -hmm, this enough. Mm -hmm. You absolutely need this one to survive. Unless you're doing a playthrough where you've got a totally different tactic, which there are a couple that we can talk about. But for the most part, you always want Polyglot. I mean, as long as you have a, um, a translator, it's not as bad to no. go without it. But I mean... But if my translator dies, or in this case, now I can swap out the translator 
translator for somebody better, like an English soldier, perhaps? Yeah. We'll see. All right, uh, so here we go. I can funds. That's what it is, not resources. Uh, so, right, mm. we can either auction or we can gift these to the museum. If we gift them to the museum, they're only worth 20 fame. If we sell them, they're worth 60. So I'm going to go ahead and sell the tusks. And fame is basically the name of the game. Um, by the end of the final expedition, which of which there are six, mm -hmm. um, the goal is to have the most fame out of everybody. I'm going to gift this one, but this one here, the Necronomicon, I'm keeping it. I'm going to keep tearing pages out of that for the yeah, rest man. of the game. I, I feel like that's it's far more valuable than getting the 60 fame. If I can generate more uh, tome pages, too, I'm just going to go ahead and gift all three of those. Yeah, I mean, even then, <laughs> in the long run, like, you just got 60 fame from those three tome pages. If you can just keep pulling more... Yeah. yeah. Sa um, save it for the very end, just before you go into the period, tear out a shitload of pages, and then... <laughs> <laughs> Basically, you, uh, you you sacrifice sanity, which is a temporary resource, for fame, which is a permanent one. That seems totally worthwhile on basically every level. Oh, yes. So now we've got a couple of choices. We can go to the black grasslands, or we can go to the untouched grasslands. And personally, I like the sound of the black grasslands a little better. What do you think? Oh, I totally agree. All right. So after getting up very early, I hurried to the harbor. The captain had yet to arrive, so I had one last pot of tea. A scientist approached me this morning with a request. He told me about a mysterious box that was buried somewhere in the area we were headed to. Oh, good. I'm glad. He promised to reward us handsomely if we brought it back to him. Uh, absolutely. Uh, the mysterious box takes up one inventory slot. Uh, the map that you're given uh, will not take up an inventory slot. If you notice, my bar got a little wider there. Mm -hmm. um, so I have to buy one shovel. Uh, I could pick up a diplomat, and you know what? I think I will. And I'm They're gonna good dismiss, for trading. I'm going to dismiss one of the donkeys. I could dismiss the trader. I don't need him anymore. Or the translator. I don't need him anymore. I have polyglot. It's true. However, at the same time, uh, a donkey that you're not mounted on doesn't <laughs> help you in combat. True. True. Um, uh, but, I mean, that's also the difference of yeah, the inven capacity. The inventory slots. The yeah. inventory slots. Um, you know what? I'm With this book, I'm going to be using up a lot of my slots on tome oh, pages yeah. because tome pages, unfortunately, don't stack unless they're with each other. So I'm going to go ahead and dismiss the translator. I don't need him anymore. Later. All right. Yeah, let's recruit that diplomat. Uh, purchase some equipment. Uh, I need one shovel. Never buy more than one shovel. Unless for some reason you have more than one treasure map. But uh, I've 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 started them with tw with two before. But even then, I mean, it's it's generally not worth it. Uh, I'm gonna pick up machetes because they're cheap and useful. Um, I'm out of food, so I'm gonna go ahead and just buy all ten of those. Am I gonna buy all ten? Yeah, I'm gonna buy. All uh, yeah, 10. I I generally do that too. Um, we're going to grasslands, right? Yes. That means we will encounter swamps. If you're going to dry lands, don't even bother with rope because you're not going to find any swamps. Why, why even bother? Uh, I'm not going to bother with the climbing gear, uh, mainly because I think having these two things will let me avoid most of the bad stuff that's going to come with that. Yeah. Empty canvas, totally worthless, except in one narrow instance, and I did find out what that is. Oh? There are some caves you can go into that have cave paintings inside them, and the cave paintings sell for twice as much as any other painting. Oh, so but but you need an artist. Yeah, you need an artist, uh, but if you've got your artist all the way leveled up to three, uh, his paintings will normally sell for 40, but if you get a prehistoric cave painting, it's actually 80, which means it is uh, worth it. But that's the only time it's worth it, and those are only in the prehistoric lands. Yeah, so, that's, that's pretty specific. But again, if you have Nikola Tesla, whose gun relies on having those blue dice, and you've got a painter in the party, and you're going to the prehistoric lands, there's like a lot of really specific scenarios where these things could be useful. That's right, folks. He did say Nikola Tesla. I did. He is one of the options. <laughs> so is Aleister Crowley. So is, uh, God, who's the other one? What's what's my favorite one? The, uh, uh, Aleister like, Crowley, the Chinese guy, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. The guy, you, you, in order to get him, you have to... Uh, uh, walk through a hex that's on fire. <laughs> All right, so this time uh, we're just given uh, a treasure map. The way treasure maps work is one of my favorite it's, it's things. It's so game. good. It's it so shows good. You, it shows you like a little four by four uh, swath of the map, and you basically just have to find that spot. <laughs> it's cool. It's it, for for an exploration game. Um, I, I think having that specific like. I, I don't even know how. I'd, yeah, I guess I'd call it a mechanic. That so, specific element, um, <coughs> it only it it amplifies the exploration feel like tenfold. It's uh, it's amazing. I'm gonna go ahead and use the Necronomicon right now. Awesome. Ballsy. Abomination. Oh, abomination. Oh, can do you, I? Can you only do that to humans, or can you do that to your donkey? You know what? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> do you want to find out? So abominations are a particular party member. Uh, they have. The I would. I would wait until you get meat. Yeah, that's fair. Because otherwise, uh, even if you have raw meat that you've got from animals, the abomination will eat that before he eats a person. Oh yeah. 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 
Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and enter the native village. Uh, its inhabitants were a true sight, some form of religious unity. As we arrived, the village was buzzing with activity. No one really paid attention to us. We were able to walk just inside as there would have been nothing unusual about our arrival. The reason for that is because I've got zero standing right now. They don't love me and they don't hate me, uh, which is nice. Don't get them to hate you. They will come after you. Um, Unless you want them to come I'm after you. I'm going to go ahead because... and trade. You know, I've actually used that as a, a way to survive. I've pissed them off and let them follow me just into like... the depths of the map. <laughs> and I just sit there and kill them and loot yep. their body oh, and yeah. then eat their fruit. And Farm then... them for fruit and spears. <laughs> there you go. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and trade out the tome page of Water Drain and the tome page of Abomination. The reason being because they were free and because these... Oh, wow, those are expensive. Yeah, Oy. that is maybe the downside. I, maybe I won't do that yet. I mean, well... I could do that, and I could... Can I get one? No, I can't get one for free. I could get meat. I could get the meat. And then I could use the abomination if I wanted to. I don't particularly I think they need two that. meat, though. Do they? Yeah, at know. least raw meat. I don't know about right. cooked meat. I'm going to rest in the village. Oh, here we go. Uh, this is a chance to improve your standing. Uh, the mm -hmm. answer is random. Like, it's not obvious. Um, we told the men to unpack and prepare things for the night. A young couple asked me to settle an argument. They wanted to know whether man and woman are equal. I'm going to go ahead and say women are superior. Everyone knows it. Women are superior. <laughs> uh, the woman smiled smugly and thanked me for my time. Uh, let's see. Ah, oh, never mind. She didn't like that. She didn't like that answer. That's unfortunate. Well, the rest of the village didn't like that answer. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> she might have liked it, but the rest of them didn't. Uh, I generally say both, and I, I enjoy the response of, they never considered that. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, a shaman's hut. Do I have anyone with a disease? I do, actually. Aiden McClelland is uh, an alcoholic, and I could cleanse him of that if I want to. And in fact, I think I probably will. Uh, we entered a mysterious-looking hut. It was dark and damp inside with all kinds of dried herbs and other peculiar things hanging from the damp walls. A native shaman approached us with an absent stare as he chewed on some leaves. They're coca leaves. The man is <laughs> high as a kite. Uh, the shaman was willing to offer his services, but demanded payment up front. And you keep seeing this little haggle thing. It's because of the... Uh... Yeah. The more and more you level up the diplomat, the better and better the haggle mm -hmm. gets. Uh, right here, I've got another treasure map, so if I really wanted to, I could trade for another one. Unfortunately, I don't have a shovel. Not that useful. Um, I'm going to see what he wants for that, and maybe I'll give him a rope. Am I... Are we good? I can't even... No, one more. There we go. All right, so I'll give him that and that, and he will agree to cleanse someone. Uh, the only person who's who has a disease is Aiden McClelland. It only cures one illness at a time, mm -hmm. and if they have more than one, it cures a random one. Ah, okay. Um, so it's much better to use it early uh, than later. I don't actually need any of the mushrooms right now. Um mainly because I don't have a native shaman in the party. So I'm going to head south. I'm going to see what lies down here. Well, this is actually the end of the episode oh, anyway, really? so... All right. Well, then, uh, this is a perfectly good time. Ah! Ha-ha! Region point. Nice. Diplomat. All right. Uh, yeah, so I guess we will uh, see you in the archives. Yeah. The Necronomicon is a page generator. It's so crazy. That is cuckoo bananas. <laughs> <laughs>